Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing and overview of this desert truck. Uh, this one is by the fine folks over at uh, PX Toys. Uh, this one is available uh, on Amazon.com, recommended for ages 14 plus. Uh, Desert Journey is misspelled here as we can see. Uh, this has a maximum speed claimed of 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's a question mark on that. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio signal, 118 scale on this, two differentials. This is four wheel drive. Now this chassis is going to share a couple of different body styles on here, guys. We can see those pictured right here. A um, couple of these are pretty popular. We have a couple of short course trucks here. The very popular monster truck, the Sandy Land uh, one. And then we have a Truggy, as well as this particular uh, desert buggy here. Um, all the warnings are pretty standard for uh, radio controlled stuff. Uh, made in China, proudly I might add, I'm guessing. Um, the back side here showing the short course truck and just some generic information. Uh, 118 scale racing car, 2.4 gigahertz radio control, powerful surface. I'm guessing that means the plastic uh, chassis is pretty resilient on this one. Uh, fully proportional servo as well as a throttle and then we have smooth stock mitigation system. I'm guessing the stock should be shock on there so probably another typo. Over on this side, we have a protective frame, a receiver, a high-speed motor, TPR tires. Not quite sure what that stands for. Down on the bottom here, we have two differentials, uh, a steering servo or steering gear, a lithium battery, and independent shock absorbers on four corners of this puppy here. Uh, this is the Sandyland variant of the same chassis right here, guys. Pretty popular all over YouTube. Uh, the other side here, we have the Truggy, which is called the Speed Pioneer. Um, all four-wheel drive, same platform, same motor, same pretty much everything. All right, so I got this already out of the box. Let's take a look and see what we got inside. Here's the truck. Not too bad looking there. The uh, manual is actually pretty good here, guys. I did have a chance to look through this a little bit. Um, pretty good size. Uh, they actually fixed it here and, and printed Journey and spelled it right. Um, all the font inside here, guys, is nice and big. I don't see a whole lot of typos. There are a few. Uh, the Chinese to English translation looks pretty good. Basic information on maintenance, how to charge the battery properly, uh, that you're not uh, overcharging or undercharging or causing it to explode or expand, those types of things. Um, all of the different chassis variations are going to be here, guys, for you to look at. Um, the, it's going to show you basic information on the trabs, trabs emitter. Oh boy, and it looks like another typo there, guys. Uh, but uh, and they really didn't rectify it at all. They've got it transmit emitter somewhere else in here too. So uh, all in all, though, I think the Chinese to English is pretty good. It's going to show you how to bind uh, your car for the first time. Um, show you how to charge the battery. I'll let you know that the transmitter is going to require three AA batteries that are not included. Um, a little bit farther in here, more information on uh, driving the car for the first time, getting it started, um, how to turn the car on, how to turn the transmitter on, uh, more information on how to drive here. And here's why I say that this is an entry level uh, hobby grade. We have a full parts list here with corresponding parts numbers, well laid out, well pictured, all that stuff looks really, really good. Um, and you could pretty much build a car from scratch if you had the time and money to do so. You have a section here for uh, notes for your maintenance notes and on the back fold here guys I think this is kind of cool. You have a full blow up um, kind of a 3D blueprint of the car an exploded view with all the parts and part numbers corresponding. Good one to hang on to guys. Very nicely done I think by PX Toys uh, and this just says stay tuned for uh, more cool stuff from PX Toys. Uh, now we got a goodie bag with this as well guys, pretty standard for RC vehicles. Looks like we're getting a um, USB to uh, balance charger here. Now this is going to plug directly into like a, a wall work for your phone or something like that and directly into the battery via the balance port on there. Uh, charge time is going to be about two to three hours on this one guys. Uh, we're going to get some extra uh, body pins with this one as well. So I think that's kind of cool that you have some extras there. Now I went ahead and I um, 
uh, took the transmitter out of the package as well. We can see that this looks like it's nicely laid out. We have a uh, actual a um, uh, a couple of trims on here. Uh, the first one on the left right here is going to be for throttle. Uh, the second one is going to be for um, your steering trim and then steering limiter. You have some toggle switches down here. They're going to change the direction uh, from left to right, front to back, uh, that type of thing. We'll get into that during the review part of this vi video. Uh, there is only one side on here. Obviously, it's only going to be for right side. Uh, but we have the throttle here, so forward and reverse. Um, on the throttle. Nice feeling uh, transmitter. It's going to take three AA batteries with, that are installed on the bottom here on the heel of the transmitter itself. Uh, all in all, I think this feels pretty good, guys. It looks like it's made well. It's got a nice little thumb groove up on top here um, and some texturing down where the, your fingers would rest on here. So well thought out, nicely done. Um, I think that's a, that's a win for this, for this transmitter. Now the car itself you can see is uh, nicely uh, nicely painted, it has a pretty cool looking paint job on it. Um, evidently they went with the Desert J-D-U-R-N-E-Y again on here. So they kind of went back to their old ways of misspelling. We can see that the roll cage on here is very resilient, uh, very strong. Um, tires are not foam filled on this one guys. And we have a fully functioning spare tire in the back here that you can use uh, should you need to use a spare somewhere on the car. So everything on this uh, seems very resilient. We have two working LED headlights here. Uh, we have shock absorbers all the way around. Uh, now these shocks um, are not going to be uh, oil filled. Um, they are just going to be standard friction. And we take a look at the nuts on the inside here. These are going to be small Keps nuts. There is no uh, tool included with this. So you're going to have to get your own tool uh, to remove tires should you need to. I'll go ahead and remove these uh, body pins here. There's going to be two up on the front there and then two right in back. A little difficult to get at with that spare on there, but if you uh, kind of wheel your fingers around on there, you should be able to pop it out without too much trouble. And we'll go ahead and remove the uh, roll cage. And we can see again, very resilient, very nicely done. Heavy, it feels heavy. I think part of the weight is the rear tire on here, but you can see it flexes nice. Uh, it's not brittle by any means. Uh, the chassis of the car is going to be the same way, guys. Uh, the bumpers in front and back here, the shocks, um, everything is mounted up nicely and uh, very well made. Uh, two lights up in the front there that do work. Uh, we have a heat sink on a 380 size motor. Uh, we have our ESC in the front here with a proprietary type uh, plug for the battery. Power switch is on the side right here as well, guys. So kind of a good spot. You can get your finger underneath there and turn that on. A very well laid out uh, chassis on here, guys. Um, everything is very, very sturdy. Um, we have a metal uh, drive shaft in here as well. The uh, chassis itself is the same type of material. Uh, almost feels like a fiber type um, of plastic. Uh, all the shocks um, are not going to be adjustable. You probably could put uh, spacers between the coils and provide some damping. Uh, not damping, but uh, preload. And all the, all the uh, bumpers, everything on here is just that same type of really, really good plastic. Uh, the battery cage right here, we'll go ahead and pop this out of the way. And uh, I will show you that that is uh, uh, battery is held down with a hood type pin or body type pin. This is going to come with a 7.4 volt, 850 milliamp per hour LiPo battery. Uh, so these are readily available. You probably would have to do some swapping out to use different batteries uh, of the uh, of the plug itself here. But the balance charger uh, port is on there down there as well. Just a little warning on there for you, uh, like there isn't enough warnings. Um, but this is going to be installed. I usually put the balance port or balance plug to the back and we can go ahead and uh, uh, Sorry about the camera angle here guys. We can go ahead and slide that uh, Tongue underneath there and then we're going to go ahead and install our pin uh, Through the hole here up on top and you can see that there we go and nothing more than plugging this into the uh, power receptacle on the uh, unit itself it's already turned down. It's going to turn that back off again and I'll show you in real quick here where the power switch is 
and we have uh, blinking LED lights. Uh, very cool, um, very bright lights on this one, guys. Very nicely, uh, nice and easy to see. Uh, this would be a nice one to buzz up and down the street at night, I think. would be uh, kind of fun with this particular car. Uh, we can go ahead and pop the body back on here real quick. And um, there's basically, again, just four pins. You fit them over the pins, the holes, uh, the pins through the holes and line it up like that and you're pretty much ready to go on here. Uh, now, I'm not gonna go ahead and put any of the pins in right now because that's just for the sake of saving time on the video, but you can see how that pretty much goes together. Uh, the transmitter then would be turned on. There's no batteries in it, so we pop that on and we can check for the steering and that type of thing. And that's pretty much it, ready to roll. This will bind automatically. There's nothing you have to do to bind it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video coming up. Uh, I'm driving video with this vehicle um, I'm going to uh, give, give it my kind of final thoughts that type of thing but I think uh, for the build quality on here guys and what you're getting in the package I'm gonna go ahead and put everything out in front here again so we can see uh, what this all comes with here um, I think for the build quality and the fact that it's under $60 um, on amazon.com and I will put a link in the description for you guys if you want to check this one out um, Nicely done guys. It really is a, a, a good quality feeling uh, product here. If you like the video guys, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you all in the next one and God bless the Republic.